Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what insert into update and delete operation in Cassandra. So, right here, this is the first is insert into. So, right here, this is the basic syntax for insert into. Insert into here, keep the key space name, table name, and your column, and here to values, and here or column values you should keep. And here, use Sony. So, and here. Or oh, add here Cassandra is started by using Cassandra minus F command. Now here after let's use add here no SQL manager for Cassandra. Now add here if you want to do any update okay or insert. So you should use uh, add here by using no SQL manager so it's a very easiest process. So add here let's uh, right click and here after you should go generate command here you can find insert into here go to sql editor so add here now we need to act uh, here insert the record so first i'm going to see the record so add here let's use select a star from a student or field now here after let's execute to this query so add here it has two rows inside so i'm going to insert one more so let's give at here 115 and here next is address so at here giving address in single code cardiff now here after let's use next is a student name so giving at here in single code Jimmy. now here after so select this query and here you can find execute selected click on so right here execution time no any error now if you want to see the record select this all and here you can see at here 115 and here cardiff and jimmy that record inserted so here you can see this things so this is the syntax for insert insert into so key space that i'm using here you can find sony and you have to columns and here this values so like this you can insert at here multiple records so just control c and here do control p control p now you need to change only at here id so at here 116 next giving at here 117 and uh, because at here this ID is the primary key, so we can insert only unique record. So add here command completed. No any error found. Now here after I execute that, here you can see 115, 116, 117. That record add here it's a display. So this is the easiest way we can add here insert. Now for delete, right click, add here generate command. Here you can find add here. Okay, let's do some update first update now here select update a student set roll number address and here name so add here we need to provide add here roll number and address so roll number and address we need to provide because add here these two are a uh, composite primary key now add here giving address of uh, first is roll number so 115 and here so let's give at here Cardiff. Cardiff now here after. So at here where? So I'm going to do the update. So at here let's uh, 115 it's okay. Now here I'm going to change the address Cardiff to Mexico. Mexico now close by single code and here a student name here I'm giving uh, a Smith now here after if it's done let's uh, select and execute so add here I'm getting uh, something like uh, add here primary key roll number found in set part okay so if the primary key add here roll number so we cannot do this one okay now here after let's execute once again 
and here our address is also the primary key. So we cannot insert add here when that is primary key. So we cannot now after executing so it's done add here. Now here after we can use add here select the one. So add here select from a student add here all paid. Now here after let's execute. So add here you can see. So 115 and here name that change and here address. So add here for update when both these two condition is match. So 115 and credit match. So add here previous name was something else. Now it changed with S name. Now here after the next is so this time going to use add here key space S point. Now here after let's so use add here is called dot dpt now here you can do the update so add him update now here after let's see the record so add here select a star from add here is called dot dpt or now here let's execute that so this records inside there now here after here if I go generate open, so primary key is the DPT number. So we should exclude this DPT number from here. Now here after we can set add here D name and log. So add here going to change the D or DPT 13. And here D name with HR. So let's keep inside single code HR. Now here after location giving add here Chicago 1. Now here after if you execute this query selected. So no any error point. Now if you execute here. So here you can see DNM change with HR and the location is add here Chicago. So this is add here for update. Now next is add here for delete. So add here this is update, update key space, table name set. And here this when the condition is matched, then that will update. Now here after this is for delete. So add here delete from here key space table name where column add here when that match. So add here or let's uh, copy this. And here, so this time going to use this one. So let's paste add here, and here this is so uh, now check the record inside a student. So add here delete from a student, and here their wrong number. Not this one. Now here after. Okay, let's do add here delete. So I'm going to select to this point a student and here go to generate and here you can find delete. Execute this query, so add here delete from a student where roll number. So we need to give add here roll number and here or address because these two are composite primary key. So add here giving the roll number 115 and here address. Address is carted. Now, here after, if you execute this query, so add here execution completed. Now, here after, you can use add here select command to check the record. Select from restaurant all fields. Now, here after, execute that. So, 115 that gone. So, like this, you can use add here this or DPT. And here you should write at your generate and here delete. Now here delete from only you need to give at your DPT number. So at here if I give at your 30. So let's check that. So at here execution completed. Now here after let's use at here select from and here as code dot DPT and all fields. Now if you execute, so 30 is no more in the list. 
So this is the way we can add here insert, update and delete or query we can perform inside Cassandra. So add here if you are using NoSQL Manager, so it's very user friendly. By using this, you can easily add here do the SQL query kind of operation inside Cassandra. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you in next video. Thank you.